yeah, yeah. Go and play that, take you down, I'ma say that. Money me a couple dollars, telling you now this payback. Huh, so I take that, ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. Alright, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. You know what? I fucking hate my haircut right now, I really do. I hate. Oh, God. I don't know what I look like. I look like a totally different person. Anyways, today, finally, once and for all, I'm going to be looking at Joe Mean Green. Is that his name? Joe Green. Joe Mean Green? Yeah. And before I do, I just want to show you this one thing. Uh, my man from North Texas sent me an amazing subscriber starter pack and included in that was, was a, a keychain of, of Joe Green and this was brought out just this year in September 29th 2018 because he got a statue erected I do believe so this is a keepsake for that and as well as that guys uh, I'm gonna have to show you in front of my top here because we do have a green screen in action but look what he sent me he sent me a hat for North Texas now Joe Green played for North Texas uh, he sent me an actual players jersey with the mean green it's, uh, I think it's from like 2010, number 91, Lad Ladner, Ladner. I haven't actually looked him up yet, I don't know who that is. So we got a hat, we got that, we got one of my favourite hoodies ever. I absolutely love it. And um, here it is, North Texas hoodie. We've got a t-shirt, North Texas, which is great. And we've got a, a fifth item. Another t-shirt, a Nike t-shirt with the, the mean green uh, emblem on there. And, um, you know, what a haul. What a, what a fucking, what a legend that guy was, honestly. What an absolute legend. But uh, none of that's actually associated with, with Joe Green except for, except for this. So, with that said, guys, this journey's been amazing. You know, for me to actually know who Joe Green is... I mean, it blows my mind. Like, I, know, I know more football players than I do rugby players now. It's no shit. I really do. I apologize for anyone who's going to ask me uh, any details about any of these players because, you know, there's been so many. I, just, I, I don't know if I can actually remember what they did in their career as such, apart from the running backs, of course. But, um, you know, I can definitely put a face to a name and Joe Green. I don't actually know what Joe Green looks like. <laughs> I know what he looks like here. I'm not quite sure if that's, that's accurate or not, but uh, we're about to find out. That's more than enough rambling for me. So uh, stick around, guys. I'm gonna roll the intro, and I'll see you in a minute. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Okay, Joe Green, number 13, the top 100 NFL's greatest players. What does it say here? It's the legendary Mean Joe Green. He played his entire career for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Would you look at that? Boom! <laughs> it was arguably the most, arguably the most dominant defensive tackle of all time. Mean Joe Green. Why do they call him Mean? He must have been Mean. Let's see. What Joe Green? the greatest talent who ever played in Pittsburgh. You remember Joe Green. He's first, because he should be. I don't know, you probably too young. Yeah. That team before Joe Green, before Joe Green just did this with her over the center, he just, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna knock your head off. The whole thing changed, right there. Was he a center? No, defensive tech. It is a prime. There is no, oh, duh, because there is no center on defense, is there? You got this, on the offense, you've got, hang on, let me try and do this. The offense, you've got center, the two guards, the two tackles. On defense, you've got the two tackles and the two ends. Is that right? I've got to get this in my head. Sorry, guys. Sorry. What do we got here? Two tackles, two ends. Yeah, okay. Three linebackers. Gotcha. Okay, so the, there's only so guards are only on the on the offense. I'm getting there. I'm getting there, man. I don't play line. I'm not going to play line. 
But I need the lineman to open me up as a running back, don't I? <laughs> Violent game. It's a collision sport. You can have a playbook, you know, the size of a Charlie Sheen prenup. At the end of the day, you want to rock people. You've got to make them afraid of you. And they, uh, they don't want any piece of your mind. Big mean Joe Green. He's mean, all right. Tens of thousands of men have played. And they all play with one goal in mind, to win a Super Bowl run. He's in with four. Man, I've got to say, there's a lot of guys who, when I hear they've played for the Steelers and they're in the top 50 players of all time, I'm like, yeah, you must have been there for those four Super Bowls. You must have. In fact, hang on. Which, which four Super Bowls was it? I do happen to have a towel here to tell me. Ah, Joe Green, my man, which ones did you win? It must have been 74, 75, 78, and 79. And he played for Texas from 66 to 68. What a career. That's what greatness is about. The guys who won't settle for the bread. They want the mother love. They want immortality. And that's what Green gave them. It all changed. I, I remember, I said, what North Texas State would prove? I saw some footage of him in college. I don't even remember him being that big. But man, he looks like a fellow, you know, I mean, he's got to be the man. Floodgates open right there. We started teeing off on people instead of having them tee off on us. Joe Green's the most important player in the history of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wow. Because now that's a big call. Cool. Until the moment he existed, it didn't exist before. We were no longer the jokes. And if you wanted to call us a joke, you could. He's going to bloody your nose repetitively. You got to think, especially with those. Well, oh my god, what's he about to do here? Bang! What a hit! With those tiny little, like, two freaking bull bar things across their face, it's like. Man! The hits would have been just as hard, if not harder, back then, but they had less protection. It's like, yeah, your, your nose would have been broken multiple, multiple times. It's like, fuck that. <laughs> On the field, he was mean Joe. But in real life, oh. he never lived up to his nickname. <laughs> that guy's just like, what the fuck? But in real life... Oh, big elbow to the face. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. <laughs> He's a man of his word. I like that. One iconic Coca-Cola commercial showed the world that Mean Joe was really a teddy bear. Prior to that commercial, Let's see it. I was Mean Joe. I was the unapproachable guy. And that really uh, softened the image. And it was really, really special to have people speak to you, not wanting anything, just to say hello to you. I like Joe Green for one reason and one reason alone. That kid who gave the shirt to was 20 years older, and in between him and the Lombardi Trophy, he would flatten them. That's crack up. But you know what? You know what? I'm going to do something that I haven't normally done on this. I'm going to look up that mean Joe Green. And if I could spell it, would be good. Here we go. I haven't looked at any other videos in this whole entire series, so bear with me, guys. But we have to do this. It's in 240p. Oh, my God. Um, can we get a better one? Have a Coke. Have a Coke and a mean Joe Green. Here's the full one minute version. <laughs> oh, this is going to be good. All right. Mr. Green? Yeah. You, you need any help? Mm -hmm. I, I just want you to know, I think... I think you're the best ever. Yeah. 
sure. Want my Coke? It's okay, you can have it. No, no. Really, you can have it. Okay. Ed's life. Coke adds a smile. Coke makes you smile. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I did not expect him to give him his top. I, don't, I was like, how, how is he going to turn this around and, and be a nice guy? But he did. Thanks, Joe Green. And thanks to you guys for being here. If you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button, as always. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.